to, to improve. But again, it's it's a team game, so you know there could be a, a circumstance where he plays a great game, but we still don't play well as a team. So you played night games before, obviously, but a lot of new faces, probably and a lot of guys maybe traveling this time to have before. Um, concerned about just the long delay on game day and how you keep guys occupied. How um, we have a schedule, and it's the same. So any of those red-shirted kids have been here because we played a lot of night games. We played Stanford at night. We played um, a couple other night games at home, so we're kind of used to that. So the only kids that are new to the whole thing are the true freshmen, and you hope that they get brought in. But I don't know how many of those true freshmen are going to end up on the travel spot, so that it'll be minimal. But we have a routine that we kind of go through, and, and we practiced it a week ago when the day before our – one of our final days of camp, we simulated what we normally do on a Friday. So we had our meetings at night just like we do the night before a game and try to do things to make sure it's they, they've got a feeling and, a, and an understanding of what we're going through. But it'll still be a first time for a couple of those guys. In those three high-profile uh, non-conference games during your tenure, have you, you tracked a trend that you're trying to change other than the obvious loss, the uh, common thread of some kind? No, there's only been two, so it's tough to get trends off of two things. So well, if we top play, 20 non-conference, including Boise. Well, we play top 20 non-conference. Boise, Ohio State, and Auburn. Oh, the bowl games? No, because a bowl game and a regular season games are two entirely different scenarios. So I don't I – mean, I'll leave that up to statistical guys to try to figure that part out. So I haven't – so to answer your question, no, I have not tracked any trends from those three games except we lost them. So. We'll try not to make that a trend. Are openers kind of similar to bowl games in a lot of ways, no. considering the time? Nope. Totally different. Totally different. You know, you got a new bunch of guys you're trying to break in. You're practicing. You know, you, you have an understanding when you're in a bowl game how many practices you have before your first game. You know, a lot of things revolve around finals, and then you go a couple weeks where you're going to just do fundamental things, and then coaches go out on the road and recruit, and then come back and practice on the weekend. It's totally different. So openers and bowl games, I, I don't think. And, and I know in our game plans are totally dissimilar. From in terms of our approach and how we practice those. Thank you. Good.